Let's check back in with Kai Goldberg. We've got the weekend coming. Yeah, we certainly do. And it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag going into the weekend. We're still going to look at some unsettled weather as we head into both your Saturday and Sunday. But the big day will be tomorrow, Friday, as we'll see rain coming through the region once again from the atmospheric river this time. So it won't be one of those very cold, wintry storms. But nonetheless, we'll see measurable rainfall. And temperatures will stay in the 60s for much of Southern California. Dry for the time being, but take a look at what's happening this afternoon up north just through San, San Luis Obispo, Monterey, Santa Cruz, San Francisco, all the way up towards Eureka. And then further inland, we're picking up a good amount of snowfall. Yeah, the snow is falling in the Sierra Range because it's colder. The elevations are much higher. Here in Southern California, the snow levels are going to be at and above 10,000 feet. So there's not much of a chance we'll pick up any snow showers, but the rainfall will be definitely be making its way into Southern California. But the direct hit the target area in California will be central and northern California for this particular atmospheric river event making our way over the next couple of days. That's where we'll see the heavier rainfall. We'll, we will see by the time we head in towards late Saturday night and early Sunday morning, some of central and California and northern California rather picking up anywhere between five to eight inches of rainfall here in southern California. Yes, we have temperatures into the 60s and it's a beautiful day. A quick pop up ridge and look at Fullerton right now getting very close to 70 degrees. It is 69 degrees in that particular Orange County area. Winds will begin to make their way through the mountains and desert communities of Southern California, making our way from Friday morning into Friday night. So we'll see gusts of up to 15, 20, as well as 30 miles per hour for some of those higher elevated areas. So once again, here's a look at the atmospheric river starting to make its move on the central portion of our state. We'll see this trough of low pressure being the conveyor belt. It's what draws all that moisture into Southern California. Clouds will be on the increase for the afternoon as we head towards three, four o'clock today, you'll notice the difference in the skies. We once again will see a lot of that prefrontal cloud cover coming on in, but the rainfall, well, that'll kick off for Los Angeles County as the sun begins to rise on your Friday morning making our way into the mid morning hours, Orange County, the Riverside, San Bernardino County communities. They start to see more showers as well as some moderate rainfall through areas like Yorba Linda, Chino, Chino Hills, of course, up near Rancho Cucamonga, some of the foothill areas near Duarte, the Sierra Madre community, as well as the uh, Pasadena community. They'll see more rainfall as well. This takes us into your Friday night where we'll see the quick hits of some heavier rainfall coming into the region. And then once we head in towards late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. Well, we'll see dry conditions returning to Southern California. And as we look into the weekend, as I was saying at the top of the forecast, a mixed bag. That's because Saturday will be a showery day. Sunday will be dry. Then we'll get to storm number two. That'll happen Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Also, the Inland Empire, of course, holding on to rain tomorrow into Saturday afternoon before we see dry conditions Sunday. More rainfall for Tuesday and Wednesday. We're